I didn't get the Lugia or the Typhlosion, but I got a cute little Cleffa playing with Yarn. Like, it's wor worth it, worth it. What's good, guys? Good Guy Ghastly here with uh, two very heavy packages. I've decided that I'm going to do one big video to show off all the cards that I have gotten from breaks. Maybe even price them out a little bit and see how well we did overall. Like, was it worth it to drop this much money on vintage Pokemon cards? I'm actually going to start with the least hype box and work our way all the way up to the hypest of hype boxes and talk about each of them as we go. So the first break we're going to start with was the Neo Genesis box break with A Drive. It was the first one I entered into. And uh, this whole thing is a gamble. You know, if you pulled that Lugia, then you uh, almost paid for a house. Spoiler alert, I did not pull a Lugia, but I, I did get some fun stuff. I did get... Uh, it was really fun just to be on the stream. It was fun to uh, we we saw we got some new people to the community, and uh, yeah, it was just it was just overall a good time. And uh, yeah, let's just go over all of these cards that we got. So our first card, a Sprout Tower Trainer, a Mareep, which uh, I I personally love. Ampharos is one of my favorite Pokemon. Moo Moo Milk. I wasn't as excited as I should have been when I pulled this. I was really hoping for the Mill Tank that whole entire break. Trust me, I would have taken a Lugia, but Mill Tank was a close second. Um, but I love the Moo Moo Milk. Very happy to have it. I have an entire binder of Moo Moo Milks, and this one though I will be sending to get graded. Actually, all these vintage cards I'll be sending to get graded. Giraffe Rig, my first shiny I've ever caught, so that's kind of a wholesome. I might actually keep this when I grade it. I was gonna sell most of these, but I think I'm gonna keep on hold on to this one. Mantine. Slowpoke, I, I just adore Slowpoke. If you guys uh, know me, you know that I love the jungle Slowpoke a ton. I think it's one of the best cards ever created. Chikorita, now this is the rarest of uh, the Chikoritas. The, uh, not the rarest, but the one that everyone wants. There's two types of Chikoritas in Neo Genesis, and I'm very happy that we got this one. We have Electabuzz. Quilava, very stoked to get Quilava. Quilava is one of those heavy hitters in the set. A lot of these cards still go for quite a bit, even if you don't pull a super rare card. And Quilava is one of those. It's an it's an uncommon card, and uh, I think I don't want to I don't want to say I'm gonna put the price on on the screen, but I think the last PSA 10 went for around 300, dollars so really cool. Cleffa was our rare that we pulled, and uh, yeah, he's still again not a hollow. You have to justify it in your head. You're like, okay, I didn't get the Lugia or the Typhlosion. But I got a cute little Cleffa playing with yarn. Like, it's wor worth it, worth it. And finally, I did not pull it myself, but somebody in the break gave it to me. Terrible Tavi gave me the mill tank he pulled, and that has started a beautiful friendship. If you guys don't know who Terrible Tavi is, he's a really awesome dude. He's actually uh, editing social media content, I believe, for A Drive right now. So he's a really, really cool dude. I taught him, I basically traded him some, some, some editing secrets in exchange for this mill tank. He said, uh, if you just give, go ahead and have a phone call with me for around 30 minutes to an hour, I will I will give you the mill tank. And I'm so happy I did because this mill tank is really, really clean. The centering is really good. The corners are great. And uh, I'm going to be sending in a few mill tanks. To, and I'll be doing a video about that as well. I'm going to send in a couple mill tank related cards and seeing how they grade. We'll take some guesses of what they're going to do. My goal is to have the biggest mill tank collection that there possibly can be so we'll, we'll see what happens so for this rocket break i went with three entire packs i just regretted not buying more neo genesis if that makes sense it was kind of a really high price point so i did not want to spend that much rocket was a little bit cheaper and uh, i decided you know what i'm just gonna go for three whole packs and we're gonna see how our luck turns out and i'm very happy that i did and you're going to see why. So right off the bat, we have our three rocket packs. Uh, a Drive this time did a very good job of not destroying these packs too much. And uh, I just always love the art on the rocket packs. So very thankful to have these, especially like this one with like bosses Giovanni on it, Gyarados and Team Rocket. Really cool packs to have in my collection. And then going into the first pack here, we started off with a Dark Gloom, which was a uncommon. Which I love Gloom. War Turtle, one of the heavy hitters in this set are, of course, the starters. Everyone wants the starters. For, uh, for instance, Charmeleon is going from, you know, $400 to $600 if it's a PSA 10. Imposter Oak's Revenge, another uncommon card in the set. Really love the artwork on this as well, so thankful to have it. Abra, standing on a tower. Charmander, another heavy hitter. 
definitely one of the three that everyone wants in the set. I think I only pulled one of these, which makes me a little sad, but I'll take at least one. I can't complain. Psyduck, love me some Psyduck. Slowpoke, again, love me some Slowpoke. Machop. Machop is in here. Machop's one of those ones that I don't think really anyone wants. So I don't, I don't know. Some of these I'm going to sell. Some of them I'm going to keep. Mankey. Dark Raticate. And I got a non-foil Rainbow Energy. Uh, which is okay because uh, even, even a non-foil Rainbow Energy sells for a decent amount. The foil, though, sells for quite a bit. So I obviously would have liked it to be foil. But I'll, I'll take a non haul This is the first pack we pulled during the break. So moving on to the second pack, we got the nightly garbage run, the dark Jolteon, which is great because I actually have one of these already, but it's in very bad condition. So I'm glad to have it in good condition. Primeape, I like to say this Primeape looks like uh, he's about to throw down with Frieza on Namek. The artwork on this is just VBZ all the way to me. Diglett. Love me Diglett card art. I don't know why, but Diglett card art is some of the best card art out there. I, I, I don't know. If anyone else is a Diglett fan, let me know. You got Voltorb. Squirtle. Heavy hitter for sure. Squirtle. Love it. The Sleep. Put him to sleep. A Magnemite. A Dratini. Would have loved to get the Dragonair. The Dragonair in this set is really pretty as well. Obviously, Dragon Knight. Uh, I don't even know if anyone in our break got a Hollow Dragonite, though. Don't know if there was one. Rousey. And a Here Comes Team Rocket, which is, in fact, Hollow. It's very hard to tell. It's got just a little bit of foil in the right, the bottom, and the left. There is a small nick at the top right. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's a small little nick at the top right, so that's unfortunate. Probably a PSA 9. Definitely still going to send it in. And, uh, yeah. Very thankful for, for this one. So moving on to the final pack of the A-Drive break, we have the Slowpoke. Machop. Mankey. Magikarp. I hope I got another Squirtle or Charmander. I don't think I did. Dark Electrode. The Porygon. Love me some Porygon. Oh, it's like it's like you get a new puppy and it's a Porygon. You're like, what the hell is this? Dark Raticate. Diglett Art. Voltorb. Actually, this pack was kind of whack except for the squirtle everything else is kind of uh not not one maybe the porygon's great and then finally for our big pull in the third pack we have a dark magneton so really really awesome here when he pulled this on stream i don't know if you guys can tell but it looks like there is actually a scratch on this dark magneton now this dark magneton sells for around four thousand dollars if it's a psa 10 one of the hardest cards to grade in the entire set. Look at that foil. Look at that squirrel at the in the right there. That squirrel, you see it? Oh man, it's so pretty. Uh, one of the hardest cards to grade. There are very little PSA tens. PSA ten only has fifty in population. And if you look at this graph here, look at how this sold. So, in two thousand eighteen, it sold for four fifty five. Soared all the way up to five thousand. At the beginning of this year beginning of 2020 and then it dropped down to 4,000. but look at how, how many psa nines there are there are so many of them and they they vary right so from 4,000 at a psa 10 all the way down to 305 4,000 to 305 that is disgusting so really hoping for at least a nine on this do you guys see it i don't know i'm gonna send it in and see what the experts say oh i just saw it i just saw it well you see it right there it's so small you really have to look for it so hopefully that doesn't fully i'm just hoping that that doesn't ding me completely right i'm hoping that i send this in and they still go okay this is pretty much a 10. we can work something out i'll, I'll give you one of my mill tanks if you give this a 10 please so for this next break we have the shady penguin team rocket break and that was an interesting one because it was heavy packs only and if you don't know what that means essentially if a pack weighs a certain amount you're almost guaranteed a hollow at least for most sets what we discovered is that team rocket the team rocket first edition set is notorious for being very difficult to weigh so even if a pack weighs a certain amount it's a heavy pack it is not guaranteed that it'll be a hollow and we had to learn that the hard way because shady had also put a clause that if your pack did not have a hollow in it you would get half of your money back 
or you could forfeit that money and get another pack i wasn't sure i was going to go that route but uh, i'm glad i i'm really glad i did so starting off we have grimer we have oddish zubat eevee meowth goop gas attack rattata Porygon in a box energy dark flareon so to go along with our dark jolteon we have dark flareon and then i got a dark dead trio non-hollow which was pretty awesome because this is one of the cards from the rocket set that i really love i mean it's just doug trio busting into someone's house i love i don't want to i want to know what's going on i want to know the story here like is it a raid is 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 team rocket using this dark dead trio just for, to perform house maintenance like i don't know what's happening but i'm glad i got it but then we went on to pack two which was coughing Rattata, drowsy Ponita, Magnemite, Dratini, Squirtle, another Squirtle. I think I have three Squirtles now. Dark Rapidash, I think I have two of these. Another Magic Carp. Boss's Way, really awesome card. I always loved Boss's Way. This is a card that has been reprinted throughout generations of Pokemon, and I've always loved the card art of it because Giovanni is one of my favorite characters. So, really, really cool. In, in fact, the new Shining Star V boss's way is one of my favorite cards ever printed so really cool and then finally we got a dark hypno holographic happy to have him uh dark hypno is one of those hollows though that is not going for a ton of money he doesn't seem to have any markings at all so definitely one i'm going to send in i actually could see this being a psa 10 and i'm going to be, do, be doing a video where i go through all the cards i'm going I'm to send in to get graded and we're, we're going to take some guesses at what these could possibly be asleep more Diglett, Voltorb, Mankey, Dark Raticate, Slowpoke, Chop, Dark Primeape. Again, I love that card so much. Glad to have two of them because I probably want to keep one. Energy, Dark Psyduck, Dark Golduck. Oh my gosh, look at the art on this Dark Golduck. What, a, what an action pose. So rad. The energy from his beam is just... That's such a DBZ shot. I just love it. Okay, and then finally, finally, Dark Charizard was uh, our big pull for this one. And holy crap, dude. It is so gorgeous. Not a hollow. Not a hollow, but I will still take it. Unfortunately, after getting it here at the house, I do see there is a very small nick. It's so slight. Top right. Like, maybe I can sharpie it in. I don't know. But there's a top right. There's a little, there's a little, uh, little nick. Uh, everything else though looks really good the centering doesn't look too bad i'm gonna still send it in i'm gonna hope for a 10 or a 9 a psa 10 dark charizard guys was going for like 700 and at the time of recording this video i just checked and once recently sold for 2000 non-hollow dark charizard psa 10 sold for 2000 so and uh, and you know even a psa 9 uh would probably sell for around 700 then so if this can at least get a 9 I'll be really happy am i gonna sell it i don't know i don't know maybe i'll need the money a little bit to recoup some funds from all these breaks uh i would rather not sell all the the nice ones i'd like to hold on to them and see what happens in the future because and, and just because they're pretty um but yeah so then finally i did decide to trade in the refund and get another pack and this was kind of a hard choice for me because I really like that Dark Duck Trio and I was worried that I was going to get like another Dark Hypno or something else like a Dark Slowbro, which is okay too. But I really wanted, a, a, you know, another shot at a Hollow Charizard or a Hollow Dragonite. So I decided to, to forfeit the refund and go for another pack. Um, but we got Psyduck, Oddish, Grimer. Oh, there's two of them. Grimer, Eevee. Zubat, Goop Gas Attack, Meowth, oh, oh, another Magic Carp. I think we have three of these Magic Carps now. An Electrode, Dark Rapidash. Oh, I think I have three Dark Rapidash. And finally, finally, another Dark Charizard. Another Dark Charizard. Oh my gosh, two Dark Charizards in a total of four packs. I thought that was really, really lucky. Again, not a hollow. Unfortunately, and I'm going to just say this once because it does hurt it does keep me up at night the pack after my pack the pack after my dark charizard was a hollow 
Dark Charizard. The pack right after mine. Real unfortunate, but congratulations to the person who got that after me. And this one, oof, oof. Um, this one looks like it has. It's even worse on the top right and the top left. Like you can see the whitening a little bit. Maybe I can bring it in. Just a tap. You see it? It's kind of. It's just. It's just so slight. Maybe you can't see it on camera, but there is a little bit of whitening and little uh on the corners there. That's still something beautiful to have in my collection, and I'm very thankful to have two of these. Uh, but yeah. So overall, was it worth it? Overall, let's actually just take all of our our best pulls here. So in a total of eight packs throughout all these breaks, we got here comes Team Rocket. Dark Hypno, Dark Charizard, and then a Dark Magneton. And, you know, is it worth it? Was it worth all that money for eight packs of Pokemon cards? Uh, quite frankly, I'm not sure yet. I still need to do some math. I need to do some spreadsheets. I also still need to send the cards in to get graded, which is a lot of money I'm finding as well because you have to pay for insurance. Plus, you won't need to pay for uh, turnaround time if you want it within a month or you want it within a year. So... Just depends on how much you're willing to spend but will i come back on top i don't know i really don't know however it was worth it for me still just because 2020 has been a rough year for everybody and uh i've been saving a lot of money not going to conventions and not traveling for work so it's been really nice to just kind of surround myself with things that i do enjoy and that happens to be pokemon cards this year so i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope uh you watch me in some other breaks that I might do later. I don't think I'm going to be doing any more breaks for a while because, you know, it's fun. It's it's a huge event, but I don't think my wallet can take it. I think my wallet's on its dying breath. So I appreciate you guys watching me so far. And uh, I hope I hope my love of Pokemon cards is kind of like rubbing off on some of you because I just I just really enjoy it. I don't know what to say. I just, I just think it's the funnest thing ever to crack packs open. So I just feel like a kid again. So anyways, thanks for watching, guys. Go ahead and leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And uh, I'll talk to you soon.